early morning and Islamabad gets ready for the day ahead. At a cafe, breakfast is served as the results roll in from half a world away. Hairdressers ply their trade and shopkeepers catch up on the day's news. But interest here in this market, as in many parts of the country, is muted. And whilst the president-elect sends his message out to the world... Yes, we can. Here in Pakistan, it's less, yes, we can, and more, no, they won't. Help Pakistanis, that is. American. Americans are nationalists. It doesn't matter who is ruling the earth. They only think about their country. Mr. Bush was the cause of terrorism in the whole world. However, we are hoping Obama will be good for Pakistan. This is Peshawar, provincial capital of the northwest frontier and the Pakistani front line in the so-called war on terror. Just a few miles from here, US drone attacks regularly occur on Pakistani soil, angering many. The Pakistani army is fighting Taliban forces in a pitched battle in the tribal areas. And refugees from that war live in sprawling refugee camps. Against that backdrop, analysts here are wary. At one point he, he had mentioned that he'll strike inside Pakistani territory uh, if, uh, in case Pakistan uh, is unwilling or unable uh, to move on actionable intelligence about the presence, uh, presence of uh, terrorism, terrorists uh, on its side. Back in Islamabad, and its streets are looking more like a capital at war, a consequence of its role as a key ally in the so-called war on terror. Unconditional support for America is opposed by the biggest opposition party in Pakistan, the PMLN. They have held meetings with the Obama camp and hope that the change they've promised is real. Unfortunately, the policies of President Bush brought more instability, have brought more bloodshed and war to different parts of the world. And America's image also suffered greatly because of that. So we hope that this will be beginning a new beginning, beginning based on understanding of other religions and understanding of other people. And while some politicians may be hopeful, Pakistan now awaits the president-elect's next move. Officially, the Pakistanis have said that they're willing to work with the new administration. Unofficially, however, many wonder what that means. With US missile strikes into Pakistani territory, economic woes and a war in its tribal areas, many feel that the US's role here is detrimental. And dealing with that will be the biggest challenge for both administrations. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.